It's been months since the tenants at 130 Gowan Avenue in East York started voicing concerns about a possible above average increase to their rent and nothing. So they're taking it to the next level. Tenants have been sending emails to PSP and calling them to uh, bring attention to the situation and demand that the above guideline increase application be withdrawn. PSP is the Public Sector Pension Investment Board, a government crown corporation with a stake in Starlight Investments, the private company that owns their building. Starlight has plans for a rent increase of 4.2%, which tenants say will price them out of their building, one that includes a number of seniors with fixed incomes. If we didn't have this association to kind of help out with the other older generation, they might be paying something that they shouldn't have been paying for. In an effort to raise their voices, tenants tried to hand deliver a letter to one of PSP's board members in Toronto last week, but have heard nothing since. They've been trying to reach out to PSP Investments and so far they've been ignored. For them to be invested in these types of practices and an above guideline rent increase that, that displaces tenants from their homes and creates financial hardship, that's just unacceptable. Meanwhile, outside PSP's offices in Montreal, supporters try to be heard as well. We want to have a solidarity across cities uh, because these problems are, uh, these are funds that invest all around Canada. The Public Service Alliance Canada, a union representing workers who have their pensions with PSP, sent a letter in support of the tenants, stating, quote, the continuation of business practices without addressing the concerns of our organization would not only be detrimental to the residents of the properties owned and managed by Starlight Investments, but could also pose potentially long-term consequences for the contributors and beneficiaries of the Federal Public Service Pension Plan. City News has also reached out to PSP and haven't received a response. So far, PSP Investments has completely ignored uh, the tenants and their, their calls and emails regarding the situation, but the hope is that, you know, they'll come to understand that what they're doing is unacceptable. Until that time comes, tenants vow to continue the fight against Starlight, who claims the rent hikes would cover renovation costs. They say a company worth $1.6 billion and those that back it can easily afford cosmetic changes themselves. Mark McAllister, City News.